After months of waiting, Microsoft's next-generation consoles are finally here. Both the Xbox Series S and X promise to deliver the most incredible gaming experience possible, with realistic graphics and fast, almost non-existent loading times. With that kind of promise, the Xbox Series X and S need plenty of muscles to flex. A more powerful CPU, memory, and graphics cards certainly help. However, you may be surprised that storage is where the real improvement is. That's because the console can only work at its optimum if its storage system can feed it data fast enough. While the Series X probably has the fastest SSD on the planet, you'll find that the capacity might be a bit lacking at just 1 terabyte for the Series X and 512 gigabyte for the Series S, respectively. Inevitably, you'll need to invest in external storage. That's why we've listed the top 5 external hard drives for Series X and their key features plus things to consider helping you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. WD Black P50 NVMe SSD The WD Black P50 is one of the fastest SSDs you can get right now. With blazing speeds of 2000 megabytes per second, it can certainly load old titles dramatically faster and transfer files lightning quick as well. Too bad it can't be used as expanded storage by the Series X console. The P50 inherits the sleek black, durable, and rugged outer enclosure of the WD Black series. Because it's an SSD, it's visibly more compact and pocket-sized as well. We've mentioned the 2000 megabyte per second speed before, but the P50 is also future forward. It has a super speed USB interface that can pump the transfer speed up to 20 gigabytes per second, in theory, using USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2. While it's not currently usable, who knows what tomorrow's Xbox consoles will bring. The one big drawback is the price, which isn't that far off from the Seagate expansion card. But because the P50 can't utilize the native speed and load times of the Xbox Series X the way an expansion card can, it suddenly seems like an expensive drive overall. Nonetheless, if you want to store your old titles and play them blazingly fast, the WD Black P50 is a good choice overall. We'd use it as a companion drive for the Seagate expansion card, putting old titles on it so that the latter can focus on storing and playing Series X games. Number 4. SanDisk Extreme SSD This is a compact but powerful solid-state drive. The SanDisk Extreme SSD features ultra-fast transfer speeds in a durable enclosure. The Extreme moniker is a reference to the ruggedness and sturdiness of the drive. It's enveloped in a silicone shell that gives it IP55 rated protection, able to survive a two-foot drop, splashing of water, or a reasonable amount of dust. The built-in carabiner loop also makes attaching it to yourself relatively easy. This SSD is built to be carried everywhere you go, which isn't much of a surprise since the brand is a favorite among professional photographers and videographers. While you won't be taking your game collection on a hiking trip, it's reassuring to know that it can survive the wear and tear of everyday life. But the data inside the SanDisk isn't just protected physically, but digitally as well. It has a 256-bit AES hardware encryption, the best in security. With the transfer speeds up to 1050 megabytes per second, the SanDisk Extreme is fast enough to play old Xbox titles off of. The only minor drawback is the smaller capacity, but it does become an afterthought with the performance it gives. Overall, if you're looking for a fast, reliable, and affordable way to port your old titles over to the Xbox Series X or S, the SanDisk Extreme SSD is an excellent way of doing just that. Number 3. A Data SD700 The SD700 is a rugged little SSD that helps you protect your precious game files from physical threats as well. The exterior of the drive is made of a sturdy military-grade material that is both shockproof and waterproof with an IP68 rating. It can survive submersion in water up to depths of 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. The SD700 also provides a good transfer speed of 440 megabytes per second, allowing you to use this drive as a reliable backup solution for your Xbox Series X or S. Although, comparing it to other SSDs in the market, it's slightly slower overall. 
The other big caveat is a smaller 1 terabyte size, which limits the number of next-gen games you can place in it. Realistically, this SSD is best for transferring files from one console to the other, such as when you're going to a friend's house. This is thanks to the relatively small and compact footprint of the SD700, just 2.6 ounces and a little over 3 inches in dimensions. It's also a viable solution if you have a relatively small library of old Xbox titles that you want to port over to the new Series X or S console. Overall, if durability and portability is your main concern, the Adata SD700 is a good solution. For gamers with a vast library, however, there might be other SSDs or HDDs worth your time. Number 2. Samsung T5 A standard speed SSD is the next best external storage solution for the Xbox Series X and S. And in this niche on the market, Samsung reigns supreme with their T5 SSD. It's a series of lightweight external SSDs that come in a variety of colors. It's relatively compact as well, no bigger than a credit card measuring at only a modest 2.3 by 4.3 inches. It's a relatively durable drive and can survive bumps and falls up to 2 meters in height. Capacity-wise, we'd say that this is somewhere in the average as far as SSD is concerned, with a maximum size of 2 terabyte, which should get you pretty far, at least in the first few months of owning the new console. While you can't match the speed and performance of the Xbox Series X or S internal storage, the Samsung T5 is still faster. Data transfer speeds are around 540 megabytes per second, making it superb for quickly transferring files from the console to the drive and vice versa, or playing older Xbox titles directly. It has added features like password protection and file management that, while excellent with a PC, can't be used with the Xbox Series X. Like any SSD, the main weakness of the T5 is that it has a lower capacity compared to the HDDs. Nevertheless, it's still a solid SSD that can complement rather than replace the internal storage of the Series X or the Seagate expansion card. Number 1. Seagate Expansion Card for Xbox Series X and S At the top of our list is the best and currently only storage solution that fully exploits the power of the Xbox Velocity architecture in the new consoles. The Seagate Expansion Card is a small, lightweight card that attaches directly to the NVMe expansion slot at the back of the console. It connects seamlessly to the Xbox system without any dangling wires or cables. What sets the Seagate storage apart from others on this list is that it's expanded storage, and not just external storage. That means the Xbox Series X and S systems treat it as if it's a part of the internal storage, effectively expanding it to 2 terabytes and 1.5 terabytes respectively. The most significant benefit is that you can play Xbox Series X games such as Forza directly off the Seagate drive at the same speed as internal storage, even using an Xbox Series X steering wheel. That means instant load times and zero lag. It's currently the only external storage solution that can do this, giving Seagate a considerable advantage over the competition. You can use the Seagate expansion card to use the console's quick resume feature. It allows you to switch between games and resume where you left off on each instantly with no delay. Older Xbox titles, up to the original Xbox, also benefit from this expansion card. It can dramatically improve their performance and loading times. At the moment, the Seagate expansion card is the best storage solution for the Xbox Series X and S, and is a must-have if you're out to get the new console. We'll have to wait and see if it can stand its ground when other manufacturers come out with their own Xbox Series X and S expansion cards. Time will tell. Time will tell. Let us know in the comments below which external hard drive you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this one and it helped you in any way, please give it a like. And if you don't want to miss future videos, subscribe to the channel. Till next time. See you guys later.